So we are at Mimi's Diner in Brooklyn today. Libby, Belle, we made so many cool things today for Pride. I just have a couple of questions around this very special month of the year. What does Pride mean to you guys? I think first and foremost for us, Pride is, is community. We um, want to connect with others. It's also for us really important to um, think of like the history of Pride. Yeah, especially um, this year. This is like, you know, it's kind of a great opportunity to, you know, for to bring awareness of the history. To talk about it. Yeah. To not, to not just be like, it's not just a present day pride. Who came before us, who fought for us, and remember those voices. And honor those voices by celebrating your community. By yeah. like, you know, we have this fantastic freedom. And you know, we're, we're still struggling, but you know. The original parade was a march and not, you know, it right. was not a parade. Understanding um, the significance of it. Yeah. Right, exactly, it was fighting. So that part doesn't need to go away. We need to remember that pride was a resistance. It wasn't a party. We're a restaurant, and we're 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 queer. we we tell people that we're queer, and we invite you to come here when and, and be proud of yourself. Provide a welcoming space for everyone. Yeah. That's awesome. Because that completely leads me to my following question. Can you tell me a little bit about how we? has been being a queer person in this industry. It's not the easiest industry, but it is inclusive in ways and I think it's changing. Yeah, absolutely. I think that it's changing. I think that like I haven't even had as hard of a time as yeah. as, you know, even people t five to ten years older than me. The hospitality industry has often been a place for the quote unquote misfits. Now, it doesn't mean that it hasn't also been dominated by misogynistic, yes. homophobic men you know, and in, in, Yeah, in, in it's history. been strongly male cisgender for yeah. sure. Especially, especially in like the upper echelons. And so there was obviously work and there's work that needs to be done. But as, you know, like out queer business owners, we want we, to just be an example of how a business completely. can be led. You know, we found a lot of people that we didn't know beforehand. And, you know, mm -hmm. we've really been able to kind of build a network of people yeah. surrounding our space and other organizations and you know other queer chefs and it's been fantastic. Yeah. So for us it's like, you know, we were really welcomed into this community, so we don't take that for granted. And we try as much as possible to open our space to other people who don't have the same privilege that we do, where we have a physical location. Yeah. It's recognizable. You know you know that you we have everything here for somebody who wants to throw a party or host an event. You know, it's a restaurant, it's a community center on Mondays when we're closed. Yeah. You know, it's it's a way for us to have a meeting place for our community. That's awesome. What are things that you guys do actively here? Uh, both from the diner standpoint, the staff standpoint, yeah. How are you guys opening and welcoming of community and people who don't have open doors everywhere? Um, I mean, I think for us, it, it all ties back to hospitality. So for us to sort of, you know, that's how we make it welcoming, is it's like a constant reminder of, you know, one of the things we continually go back and harp on is gender neutral language in the dining room. People who work here come from all different backgrounds. So it is sort of like a daily job to sort of keep this environment healthy for everyone, have open conversations about different things that people never have had to think about before. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, that's something that's very important to us here. Yeah. Before I was working in restaurants, I have was in the wedding industry. So Pride is in June and that's when the weddings are. Um, yeah. So I almost never go to a Pride party because I'm always working, yeah. but I'm okay with it because it's not really the way that I like to celebrate Pride. Mm -hmm. I prefer celebrating Pride with um, the community that's like, I, the that's people closest that we, to the me. The people that we love, the, the people yeah, that are that have supported me. to us. Yeah. Pride Month and celebrating Pride is about being conscious of where our money goes, trying to spend all, almost all of our money within our community. Pride has become a corporate thing. It's like, that's when yeah. we've reached a certain level that we're accepted and now we need to maintain our integrity. Yes, and not lose that idea of resistance that you were talking about in the beginning. Right, and I think that's where, you know, like as a business or as individuals, especially, you can 
take your money to queer establishments. You can yeah. buy things from queer makers. Absolutely. You can, you know, that's where you should be, what you should be thinking about during Pride Month. Totally. And you're saying something with those decisions that you're Absolutely. making. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Exactly. And this is a moment that, yeah, actually you're making a statement by not choosing to go one way or the other. Yeah. So it's not nice to be token gay, it's just for June. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not great.